Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Quick video for you today. Uh, Sim Update 13 beta released. It's version 134.10.0. Flying it right now and I'm happy with the smoothness. Also driver release 536.99. That's the news for today. Yeah, that's right folks. We are flying the latest Sim Update, not World Update. There is a difference. Some of you people I know get confused sometimes because I get asked about it. But Sim Update 13, this is the beta release. My first day really flying it. And I must say I am extremely happy with the smoothness that I've been experiencing here. And I think you could probably see it a bit in my window. That was a weird shadow there on the ground. Um, you can see it here. I mean, look at how smooth everything is flying by right now on my screen. And still, you know, looking pretty good and pretty clear. So I just flying around some islands down here in the Pacific, beautiful area, and I'm in the Bugatti, a plane that seems to have grown in popularity very quickly from what I've seen on some of the videos on YouTube. I'm seeing responses from a lot of people saying, wow, I love this plane. I'm so glad this plane is out. And so I know that a few other people have done more in-depth videos than my first look. But yeah, this is the, uh, the Bugatti beautiful aircraft it's a reproduction of a flyer that actually never flew but yeah the big news like i said isn't the airplane it is the driver release we have the new driver from nvidia 536.99 and from my point of view it is flying absolutely beautifully everything has been smooth everything has been really really nice uh, there's a few fixes on sceneries with white dots and white outlines and a yoke. Uh, some of the pauses that were having issues, the logbook issues. They allow ser searching for airports if they have special characters. Screen readers navigate properly. Some changes with D-pads and keyboards. So a few different changes along the lines of the SIM update itself. And then, like I said, we also have the NVIDIA driver update, which doesn't have anything in particular for flight sim mentioned. However, it does say that it fixes some known bugs that have been in some of the games and so forth. So hopefully it'll make a big difference. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. I'm seeing such smoothness here that it's kind of almost like a, a unrealistic now that little bit of stutter that you just saw that's that's on my system that's something i have to deal with uh you can see i drew i dropped my canopy here so i could stick my head up a little bit but uh yeah that little stutter that you see there that's in my system that's something that doesn't go away too easily with new driver changes i got to make some changes for that but i wanted yeah that particular stutter right there is something from my headset and yeah so my sim setup is the Quest 2 headset with virtual desktop and Steam VR with OpenXR toolkit. I do not use the Link cable or EarLink because they don't work well with my computer. If they did, I would use them because the graphics is usually much nicer than with Steam VR, but it doesn't. So I use Steam VR, virtual desktop, and the Quest 2 headset with a 3070 RTX in an Alienware laptop. And it works great. So I'm gonna keep flying, gonna keep testing so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the skies.